Okay. Okay, so this is our equation. It's 250 <laughs> sine and then half pi and x minus 0 plus 1200. And so this would make 250 our A, which is our amplitude. Wait, yeah. And then this was our B. And this was our H and our K, which is the midline right here, which we double checked was right here. Um, and we got a lot of our information from the equation that was already there. We kind of just had to like rearrange it. And our period, we got four, because if you do two pi over one half pi, the pi's cancel out, and then you do two times two over one, which gives you four. And so that was our amplitude, and there's no horizontal shift, or not shift, but um, no like stretch or anything. <coughs> and then um, our vertical shift, yeah, our vertical shift was uh, to 1200, so that's also our midline. And our amplitude was 250, and our max was 1450, and our minimum was nine, 950 which is right here and right here. Okay, so, so about the, the, the midline, that's the yeah. important, right? So, any question you guys have, and then we can put her some question. We'll ask her one question. You found the period as four, right? Did mm -hmm. you say period four? Let's, let's say so the period that we got here is four. What do you mean by the period four on the graph here? What does it mean, like what's happening? about the rabbit population and something like that. In the context of whatever information is given. See, coyotes, coyotes, they, they eat the rabbits and their population, you know, that's how it is, you know, it's in the whole year, I mean, I don't know how many years. So my question is, with reference to this, what is that four basically mean? It basically means that after the four years, the cycle just kind of repeats itself and it keeps going. Um, how do we know it really repeats itself? Because right here, it starts at 1200, and then once we go to the fourth year, it goes to the maximum. It hits both the maximum and the minimum, and then it goes back to the 12. Is that, is that okay? She, she did a real powerful <laughs> observation. She said, that's the thing, and she says, right, this is, this whole cycle is completed, right? And, and, it, and, and that for which you, of course, we, we do like a robot, so most of the students they say, hey, final period, what do we do? Two pi divided by whatever, blah, blah, blah. Now we do that robotically, but here you can clearly say, hey, that's, that's like, that's like four years. I'll ask you one question. Can you tell me exactly which year that is? It is four years, but which year in the context of this problem that you asked? You know what I mean, my question to her? I mean, I mean say I'm, I'm putting questions like you should, should be asking her. Yeah, oh. you have something to say to her. No, I'm going to give the answer. Yeah, okay, you give the answer. You wait, huh? 2005. 2005. How did you get 2005? Well, it says um, time in years since January 1st, 2001. So yes. four years after 2001, 2005. Perfect, right? So that means, even though they didn't give us, this means it is 2001, agree? This, I want you to get this part also, 2002. This basically means 2003. This is 2004, and that's 2000. So let's get an understanding also. The, the, the rabbit population was, as what she said, it, it was in the beginning, it was how much? 1,200, right? And the coyotes are on January, come January, February, they are like all the, I mean, I mean, their coyotes are not eating the sand, the rabbit population is growing. It's, it's the winter time. Population has to grow, right? So the population is growing like, in the first year, okay? It grows and then goes down again. And one more question is, last question to you is, so it took four years for the whole thing to get back to normal, right? Mm -hmm. So in the first year, the population maximum, then in the second year, it went down, third, still went down, and fourth, Went back. Is that okay? Hugo? Yeah. Last question to you. How do you know what is the maximum and minimum? Because um, when you add you add the you add the two fifty or take away the two fifty from the midline and that's how you get so it. So can you write down that here? So let's see maximum is how much? 
I'll put a question here so that you can write the answer. So we'll write, find out how did you get this. I'm, I'm putting too much pressure on you, no, no? No, it's okay. So the maximum would be, so since this is the midpoint, it'd be 12, 1200 plus 250. And that's where you get the, so what is the 1450? And then the minimum would be the 1200 minus the 250. And that's where you get the 950. Oh, so even though, you know, actually the graph doesn't help us, right, much to figure out. So you see the graph is, oh, we don't know. I, if I go along this, I don't know what it is. If I go along this one, I don't know. You can approximate, but this one gives you exactly right. You go. Do you agree with you? So for the maximum, uh, what are you adding in? What is this called? What is this 250 called? Amplitude. Amplitude. Very good. And what's the definition? And how many of you remember what is the definition of amplitude? Do you go? Max minus minimum divided by. That's the formula. But in in general, what is actually the meaning of that? Uh, the distance between the maximum and X axis or the, or the need line. See how much, so much of information you are learning, right? So the, all about what is amplitude also in. Okay, so this is about, um, so for any, any more question we have for her, I think she touched the side, uh, the period, she touched also the maximum, the minimum, and what about the, what is, what, what is so the next question I'm asking you, and this is the final one for you, mm -hmm. what is horizontal shift here? Uh, so horizontal, when I say horizontal shift, also the right word is phase shift. That's because in the physics they use the kind of something called phase, phase of moon. You know, when the moon is going to crescent and give us. Okay, that's the last. What is horizontal shift here? Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, let me wipe off this. So too much of stuff in there, right? So let me take that off. And okay, now tell me what is the horizontal shift? We got that there is no horizontal shift since oh. it never leaves uh, starting zero. So starting is zero. Correct? Agree? Then so what is that in the formula? What is that A equals to zero? The formula. Uh, it would be h equals to zero. So oh, oh, no, H my, my god, I didn't even see that. Yeah. You got it. And the last question to you is, can we change this equation to something else? Nathalie, you have to ask Valerie, hey Valerie, no, you don't like this equation. You may be thinking more of cosine. Can you think of cosine and change this uh, equation? And everybody should get full point. Last time we did this, but my question is, what about if, uh, can I change it to cosine maybe? How? Shift, shift where? The left. To the but okay, we, I know that we can do. But right now we will stick to the graph from one and so on again. And you are right also. I must say. So my question is, what? So this is the R is the rabbit population in time. Do you see R of the input output input? instead of? You know, the, you know, instead of giving this one thousand, I like the way you did well, you put the uh, number here, right? So that's so cool about you, to show that that's the K part, right, the big line? And I appreciate that. Okay? Okay, let's, let, we are ending this, and then we go. Let's watch this. My question is, can we create another trigonometric function? Instead of using whatever that's given to us, in place of this, can we change it to something else? Valerie, can you put this question to Hugo? Hugo, can we change this to something else? In the form of cosine, yes. I don't want, I want that graph. Yes. How do I do So if you start on number one, then you put a point in both. Okay. Right there. And what is that? So that's cos. So, oh, so you start from top, right? So that's what you see, 100%. But that works at one, right? So this is one, and the maximum, what is the maximum you got there? It's one, four. 1450. Everything stays the same. It's just that the graph <laughs> makes sense. And when you graph shift, what do you write? It's 250, that's the amplitude. Mm -hmm. And now you put, would you like to write down? 
and whether it gets full extra credit, 100, 300 points. Two sign. The half part will be made. Right. Because of the right, because of the or right. Plus one? No, it would be minus one. Can somebody help assist? Yes, minus. Minus one? Sure. Why? Because I'm to the right. Yeah, right. Sorry, yes, yeah. to the right. Sorry. Um, my, minus one. And then you have closed it. Plus. Okay. Any, any, uh, everything is correct. Can somebody assist? Like anything little kind of. Remember the formula. The, I want to think of this part. Can you change your? Oh. Still a little bit something change? Which one is B here? Where should be the oh, parent? Wait. That's, that, that's all I see. Before I show you, you also did it. That's the cosine. You can use even the cosine, that's it. Give these two students to some calculus student. Do you think they'll be able to do this? I mean, this is easy, but the one that we did before about those dots which were there, about the height, height of the, you know, when you were on the Ferris wheel, we did a problem with Ferris wheel. Uh, as the time passes by, 40 seconds, it takes a person, Tom or uh, Hugo, going all around like that. On the Ferris wheel, he comes back to the same spot. And we created three equations the last time. And my heart hurts when you were not there. OK. So thank you so much, by the way. Absolutely correct. Very good. Good job. Can we give a applause on? Wonderful presentation by Valerie and of course all of you did a good job. And now with this, we is one of one of the applications that I wanted to show. Thank you so much. Okay.